In a previous video we showed how you can use the update custom mutation to update data in a record in your uh, SQL database. In this video we're going to show how you can use a mutation to add a new record to a table. So we'll start out by looking at the existing records in say the categories uh, table. So we'll go there and we'll say get many uh, categories and we can see that currently there are um, eight records in the uh, categories table. So let's go ahead now and add a new record to the categories table. So we'll need to use the um, a mutation. So we'll go mutation and then we'll go here and type in add and we want a category. And then we need to specify uh, the fields that we would like to uh, set in this uh, query. So you can see here we're going to go here and we're not going to uh, specify the category ID field because that's an order increment. We're going to specify the category name which we'll just specify as uh, new category and then we're going to return after this query executes we're going to return certain uh, columns from that new record so we'd like to return the um, the customer ID field so we'll go there the category ID field sorry and also the category name field so let's go ahead there and execute that now I can see we've got a syntax error so let's go here and put this in quotes and you can see now we've added our new record and uh, the return value here shows that the new record has an ID of 9 and there's the name that we that we added so to confirm that this new record is there let's go ahead and go to our history here and execute the get many categories uh, query again so we'll go there and run this now and you can see now here's our list of categories and previously there were eight categories now there's nine categories and there's the ninth category with an ID of nine and a name of new category